Hello, welcome to SSC DTEC. So, see this side, and this is continuation of SQL Server Performance Training. So, this is part eight of SQL Server Performance Training. Today, we gonna discuss about SQL pages, and this is very important. So, go to our next slide to understand about the SQL pages. So, here, how data is stored in database. So, basically, data is stored in database as a SQL pages, and it is used to fundamental unit of data storage in SQL Server. And it is around 8 KB size of each page. So total size of the page would be 8192 bytes. And actual size where data will be stored around 8060 bytes. So basically SQL page has three sections. First is page header, then data pages and then row offset. So we will check about these three in practical in next video. So data pages are take around 8060 bytes and page header would take around 96 bytes and row offset would take around 36 bytes so go to our next slide so here i have noted down few points so it should be used while we gonna create a table so if we design a data row that fit into a single page then they will take up very less storage so less storage and less scanning of the pages make for better performance so for example if we have a data row with 4500 bytes data then only single row will be stored in a page and a rest space 3560 bytes will be wasted so if we will restructure the data row size with 4000 bytes then we are able to store two rows in a page and it will reduce a lot of waste spaces so while we gonna create a table we need to take care about this so go to our next slide so here we can see we have different type of SQL pages. So we have total 14 types of SQL pages. So first is data page, then index page, then text mix page, then text page, sort page, jam page, sjam page, and ima page. So here are many more pages. So we will look about data pages, are index pages, and ima page. That is index allocation map page. So in index allocation map page, extended allocation of jam that is global allocation map interval for an index or heap table and for data pages it will store the data in heap or cluster index leaf level page in index pages that would be non cluster index or non leaf cluster index pages so it will store the information for these so go to on sql server management studio where we will look about the page here as I am using SQL 217, you may have another version of SQL Server, but I hope this query will help for other versions as well. So here, let me create this table. And as we can see in this table, we have name and team. So we have two columns. First will take around 500 and second will take around 500. So 1000 bytes will be taken for a single row. So let me execute this query. So table has been created successfully. Now let me insert a record on this. So let me execute this query. So one record inserted successfully. Then let me select and we can check. So yes, record inserted successfully. Now here we can see by using this dbcc command, we can get the information of page. So we need to specify dbcc, then ind, then start the bracket. And it will take three parameters. First is database name then the table name and then last is minus one so let me execute this query and check the output so as we can see here we have many more informations with the pages so as we can see this is our page id then this is our object id then partition number partition id and i am a chain type that is in row data here we can see page type so page type is 10 for ima page and page type 1 for the data page here we don't have any index that's why we are not getting data page type 2 so in next video we will discuss about the page split and how actual data is stored in the sql pages so we will look in next video so thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe our channel to get many more videos don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our newly uploaded videos thank you so much